Hey guys, it's Nico's with TechThrow, and in this video I'm just going to show you a few quick tips on how to customize your dock without using any third-party applications. If you're like me, you don't really like to um, use third-party apps to customize your user experience, but you do like to have something a little bit different uh, and something that works for you a little bit better. So let's just get right into this. Um, first, you're going to want to go ahead and open Terminal, so just click on Spotlight and type in Terminal, and it should pop up. Next, I've actually jotted down a few different commands over here, uh, just because um, you know I, I don't have them memorized just yet. Though I actually did memorize them when I was trying them out, so I'll keep it open just for you guys to uh, to see what I'm doing. Um, and you should be able to see what I'm typing in the final video. So um, I'll also type everything in the description to the video. So uh, it'll be really easy to find all this stuff and really easy to execute it. Um, actually, a really quick tip without going to terminal that I'd like to share first is if you actually hold shift and click right here in the separator in your dock, you can actually move it to the left and right side of the screen uh, quite easily. So uh, that saves you a step of going into the preferences or, um, you know, right clicking on it and, and, and changing the location. But um, yeah, just thought that was pretty cool. So the first, a uh, little bit more advanced. Uh, customization we're going to do is the minimize effect. So, as you know, um, by default you have the genie and scale effect, which is uh, selectable right here in the dock preferences. But there's also a hidden um, effect called suck. So, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Real quick, let's just move this over here and minimize it. And that is the default genie effect and let's go ahead and change that to the suck effect so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna type defaults space right space com dot dot apple dot doc um, space mini effect space suck and you're gonna go ahead and want to type a semicolon space kill all as one word space doc just to reset the doc and you're gonna want to go ahead and, and type that last command um, after every doc change just so it could refresh and take effect instantly so let's go ahead and check out the new suck effect there it is as you can see it's it's pretty similar to the genie effect but a little bit different if you hold shift and minimize you can actually see it in slow motion so there that goes that's always fun to watch and of course you can do that with the genie and scale effects as well um, so yeah something uh, that I don't really like or you know I don't I don't mind it too much, but something that I prefer is to have my dock on the right side of the screen uh, rather than the bottom. So I actually like it on the bottom right or the right bottom. And I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So um, to change that, you can actually type defaults space right space com dot apple dot dock space pinning space dash string and space we'll do n to move it to the right and then type kill all doc and it'll refresh that and this is what I like to call the bottom right side of the screen so um, I actually used to use this but uh, since I got this laptop I actually like to put it right here so uh, I like to call this the right bottom rather than the bottom right and it was confusing but um, yeah technically I guess this would be the right bottom and uh, I don't know I just I just gave this a shot the other night and I actually got used to it quite quickly and I actually prefer it now because I have more vertical space to work in my applications and um, you know it's kinda less protruding and of course you could hide the dock if you wanted to but I like to keep it there uh, because as you can see if you if you go ahead and you hide the dock it kinda takes a, a second to get it back so you know I like to do things real quickly so um, I go ahead and I leave it I turn hiding off um, Again, if you if you bring it to the left side of the screen, you'll get it on the on the left bottom, and if you bring it to the bottom, you'll get it on the bottom right. So, if you wanted to align it left, you would actually type in the same command with the exception of changing end to start. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, it's now on the bottom left. And if you drag it to the left side of the screen, it'll be on the top left. And if you drag it to the right of the screen, it'll be on the top right. Um, and if you want to return it to the default, 
you'd actually type the same command. So let's do that. And with the exception of end or start, you just type two quotation marks with no space in between, and then go ahead and kill the doc again for instant effect. And, you know, as you can see, it's back to the center. And there you have that. So what we've learned is to change the minimize effect to suck and to actually position the dock on the left or right side of the screen. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the glass dock, uh, me being one of them. It's nice, but I prefer a more simpler, um, a more simple uh, dock. So um, if, if, you, if you drag it to the left or right side of the screen, as you can see, you get a 2D dock. If you wanted to achieve this while having the dock at the bottom, you go ahead and enter this command. It's defaults, right, com, dot, apple, dot, doc, space, no, no, dash, glass, space, dash, boolean, I'm probably not saying that correctly, <laughs> um, boolean, maybe, space, yes, semicolon, kill all, doc, again, to refresh it. Um, okay, we've got command not found. Let me just try to figure out what I did wrong. Let me let me go ahead and just copy and paste it the way I have it in text edit. Maybe I made a typo. Yeah, I, I made a typo. So um, there you go. You've got your 2D doc at the bottom of the screen. I'm actually going to keep it like this because I think it looks a little more, uh, a little cleaner. And I prefer a clean look. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and align this to the bottom, the right bottom. because that's what I personally prefer. And that's it. Those are just some uh, semi-advanced uh, doc cost customization options that you can do real quick without any third-party apps. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Check out our other videos. we got a couple of giveaways going at the moment, which are ending very soon. So you're going to want to go ahead and get into those um, as soon as you can. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video page for the actual giveaway not on the channel page. A lot of people leave comments on the channel page, but, um, you know, go ahead and leave a comment in the video page itself. So that's it. Once again, I'm Nikos with Tech Throw, and I thank you very much for watching our videos, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks a lot. Peace.